Hi everyone, welcome to Battlestar Galactica, the channel dedicated to the classic Battlestar Galactica TV series. And today we're going to take a look at the official Battlestar Galactica fan club kit. Back in 1978, after the show premiered and went to a regular weekly series, Universal Studios was buried under an avalanche of fan mail. They had never experienced anything like this. By some accounts, it was as big as Star Trek and Star Wars. So Universal solved this problem because they simply did not have the budget to send out photos and information to everyone who requested it. They solved the problem by hiring a third party to handle the fan mail situation. And that third party created the official Battlestar Galactica fan club. So for $5, you would receive a nice white envelope in the mail with this nice um, high quality, heavy cardboard folder. Inside has the opening narration from the episodes printed out, which was very, very cool. You receive this official certificate that you are a member of this exclusive club. Now this one is signed by the creator of Battlestar Galactica, Glenn Larson. I've seen quite a few of these over the years signed by him. I am not sure if he was affiliated with this club in any way or if he signed these at conventions at a later date. But it came with a order form for the official Battlestar Galactica decals. These are the same ones that you could have ordered for your t-shirts from Marvel Comics in the uh, Marvel Comics series. And it came with photos. That is why this club was created. It was to offer fans of the show photos of their favorite characters. So for your $5, you got a very small group of photos, mainly of Apollo and Starbuck, and then an order form that you're going to see in a few seconds. And on that order form, you could buy more photos. And evidently, fans did that. This club was very, very popular for the short period of its existence. Here's some great shot of Lauren Green. And one of the ways that you can tell if the photo that you found on eBay or at a show is an official fan club photo is that at the bottom of each left corner, you'll see a letter and a number. You just saw that on Athena. You see it here on the beautiful photo of Cassiopeia. And that is how you know that the photo that you discovered or found is an official photo. And they went through most of the major cast. Um, so if you had joined the club, you could have gotten everyone again from Boomer to Sheba that you're going to see in a second to the major villains of the show. It also included a really nice poster of the Battlestar Galactica that you're going to see towards the end and an apology letter. And that letter was mailed out to the first few thousand people who ordered this kit and it apologized for a black and white photo that you're going to see in a second of the cast. So evidently the fan club promised a color photo and they inadvertently sent out a black and white photo. Here's a great shot of Muffy too. In fact, that photo of Muffy, I don't think I've ever seen used in any other Battlestar Galactica publication. So when they sent out the official color photo to those who got the black and white photo, and here you can see both of them, they also included a poster of Buck Rogers as a thank you, which leads me to believe that there was a Buck Rogers fan club in the making. And as far as I know, that was never um, put together and never offered to fans. So here you're going to see the Buck Rogers poster. I'm not going to open it up all the way, but you can see a great shot there of Gil Gerard as Buck Rogers. I believe that's from the pilot and movie of the same name. And then you're going to see in a second the nice poster of Battlestar Galactica right here. Again, I'm not going to open it all the way, but you get the gist of it. And one of the main purposes of this club was to sell additional photos. And... The nice thing is you could have bought wallet size photos that you're going to see in a second. You're going to see the envelope that the wallet size photos came in right here. And you're going to see the additional order forms for the 8x10s that we just went through. And what's interesting about those um, 8x10s is originally they were going to be sold autographed by the stars. So I don't know if that was a typo on the order form 
or if they actually did in the beginning sell hand-signed photos of the stars. But there's two order forms. One has it, um, and the other one has the autograph word crossed off. So it leads me to believe that it might have been a typo uh, because I find it hard to believe that, say, Richard Hatch would sign thousands of photos to be sold through this fan club. So there you see where it's crossed off. So this is a real nice piece of Battlestar Galactica memorabilia, a nice piece of TV history. No one does fan clubs anymore. This really is a, a um, relic from a bygone era of TV. I know it was done a lot in the 1960s for shows like Gilligan's Island and Bewitched. It was done in the 70s for $6 million Man and Bionic Woman. And it was done for Battlestar Galactica. And it's just an incredible piece of memorabilia. If you happen to see it at a show, I suggest you pick it up. It is very, very rare. And it's very, very rare to find one that's in a complete condition with all the photos and order forms. It, again, it's just a fantastic piece of Galactica history. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If this is something you want to see more of, please let me know. Like I've said in the past, there are tons of channels dedicated to Star Trek and Star Wars and Marvel and DC, and there are very few dedicated to our favorite TV show. So please let me know. Please subscribe. Please hit that notification bell. Leave comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And thanks for watching, and have a fantastic, incredible Galactica Day, everyone.